the hatch pork. And that's going to be everything for you. That's the food inside Whatcom County's New Mexico Tamale Company is always spicy and hot. It's when things get cold outside that people get concerned. We almost shut down. It was pretty devastating. This was Dora Ruiz's restaurant two years ago when heavy snow hit Whatcom County. She was forced to close down for nine days because roads were too slick for customers and nearly had to close for good. Why? Now word from Whatcom County that they only have 27 of the 52 snowplow drivers needed to get through the winter. Icy roads mean a big chill for Dora's business. We've been hit below the belt once and then twice when COVID hit. And, you know, many times before, we're just going to have to give it to the higher power and just keep moving. We have everything except we're missing some folks. Roland Middleton is the special projects manager for Whatcom County Public Works. He says it isn't vaccine issues keeping workers away. It's simple economics. The county doesn't pay drivers as much as private industry and training them can take months. For a day or two, we'll be fine. But if we get a large snowstorm, long time event, uh, we're going to be struggling to really keep up with uh, the snowfall. The vaccine issue is posing problems for the state DOT, with more than 400 workers lost last month. That could cause issues on the mountain passes. In Whatcom County, Middleton says drivers will do their best to keep the arterials open, but there are a thousand miles of road in the county, and side streets may not get plowed for days or weeks. That means people need to start preparing to be snowbound now. More than anything else, uh, help out your neighbor and uh, we'll make it through this. That's what Dora Ruiz and her staff are doing, hoping the snow spares them this year. If the snow falls, I mean, we, we, we ourselves, we have personal vehicles with four wheel drive. If we have to deliver to the homes, whatever we need to do at this point. Of course, all this means people should get familiar with how to put chains on your tires. Also, stock up on food and water now as opposed to right before the big rush for the stores comes and also prepare to work from home. Live in Bellingham tonight, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.